hello traders sit here with another trade recap and let's start this video with overall market update today we saw like a big push uh, towards the upside and it for a brief uh, moment i believe that we are going to um it's going to be the beginning of the santa rally but obviously it was not it was like a kind of like a false breakout to the upside and uh, after that breakout it sold off immediately and then we basically traded sideways for the entire day let's take a look at the nasdaq and uh, let me show you what i'm seeing here right now so let's go to the four hour window so in, on four hours you can clearly see that we are forming the inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, over here so this is the this is a left shoulder this is a head and probably we are going to form a uh, right shoulder and then we will move up from there basically it will uh, it's a good sign and it shows that probably it will retest this level again of 15 15 6 36 same goes with the spy smp 500 uh, e-mini futures and as you can see here we are having that uh, left shoulder head and then the right shoulder formation is in play here similar to nasdaq it's not that well defined as a nasdaq but still it's there and probably what will happen is it will probably retest this level and then uh, come back down retest again and then move back up towards that uh, to begin that Santa rally so that's uh, That's that about the market and now let's talk about today's play the today I took like a, a trades on BRG and SOPA and both of them were the green trades but i closed positions uh my long call positions on apple and microsoft so both of them were i lost a little bit money over there uh, on both of those trades so brg brg was a buyout so nothing much happened over there after this initial pump it basically traded within a zone within range of 27 and 26 dollars it was completely sideways uh, uh, it was a completely sideways action sideways price action so nothing happened over there initially i uh, thought it's going to pull back uh, a little bit more towards 25 dollar sign or maybe it will retest this 23 level but that didn't happen so i initially shorted 50 shares uh, in this uh, range when the market opens and then kind of like a sold it right over here just for the nine dollar 63 cents profit i realized that it's not going to move that much so that was that and the next trade that i next trades that i took was on sopa so let me show you something interesting related to sopa so as you can see here I'm sorry for that. Let's not go with this. Okay. So SOPA was uh, SOPA is a recently, you know, IPO'd obviously on 9th November 20 or uh, 2021, and it jumped up from $15 all the way up to the $75. Then kind of like a sold off constantly before breaking that downtrend right over here that is basically today and that's the bad part about this ipo this um nowadays all the ipos are like overhyped they just pump during first few days and after that it's kind of like a uh, sell off or the sideways action it's like um kind of like a bad thing for the trading because it will trap most of the retail traders who don't know anything about like how to play with ipos seriously it's not like a pretty scenario with ipo nowadays so it's better to sell off cash in the profit and move on if it provided better opportunity in the near future then consider that as well what happened with this sopa is it pumped up right 
in the pre-market hours then showed the sideways action and uh, initial after this initial pump i got more interested into that but considering the overall market as overall market was kind of like a selling off i didn't go heavy into this stock so oh, even though i traded 640 shares all of those shares um are divided into the like 50 shares batch so i traded 50 shares for every single trade and i started um i started collecting a little bit of profit and that's how i'm built up my question and i ended up making 125 dollars and 74 cents now let's talk about the losing trades apple i was holding 200 calls expiring 21st january 2022 and uh during this sell off i kind of like lost faith um and i sold my position for 29 dollars and 50 cents loss the next position that i closed was on microsoft for microsoft same story i sold my uh microsoft call position 340 call expiring 31st december 2021 for 61 dollars and 50 cents that's what i did today in terms of trading obviously uh, i opened the call position on pltr i opened a position expiring 18 february 2022 22 dollar call i hope you had a green day today market is a little bit choppy and considering all the circumstances that it's a short it's a short week has four days of trading holiday season and uh, overall market is a little bit weak so considering all this situation just trade cautiously so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching and see you again in next trade recap bye